What is a WordPress plugin and why are they so important to your WordPress site? This could be the difference between you having an average site that does okay and really being able to superpower what you're able to do. I'm James, this is WP Beginner and do get subscribed because we're gonna be doing a whole host of videos just like this designed to help you understand all the different terminology of WordPress and how all of those essential elements help run your WordPress site and how you can use them to your advantage. Drop a like on this video too, because why not? So back to the WordPress plugins. I mentioned in the intro there that they can supercharge your site. Let's stick with that idea, the idea of them being super, but let's make your WordPress website the superhero. And then sometimes a superhero <laughs> needs a little bit of assistance. It needs a sidekick. And that is where your plugins come in. Your WordPress site is Batman and its plugin or the plugin that you need is Robin. Batman's doing most of the heavy lifting. And then, oh, I don't know, maybe he needs a, a form. He needs someone to fill out a form. Well, it's okay, because Robin has those forms. You've got WordPress doing the heavy lifting. And then for example, WP Forms, which is a WordPress plugin that gives you the opportunity to offer forms to the people visiting your website. It's fairly simple. I mentioned forms there, but that's not the only thing that WordPress plugins can do. Not the only thing you can get your sidekicks to do. There is over 50,000 free plugins in the wordpress.org directory, which are gonna give you endless opportunities to craft exactly what it is you want. Now, there are some more premium plugins available as well. These are ones that have advanced functionality or extended functionality, and you do have to pay for those. Now, sometimes that is exactly what you need. It's better for, to pay for the better sidekick. It's better to pay for Nightwing rather than relying on Robin. But a lot of the time, Robin will do the job just fine being free. So next step, how do you actually get and use these super powered plugins? And it is incredibly easy. The first thing you need to do is head over to your WordPress admin dashboard. If you're not entirely sure what that is, again, like I say, get subscribed because we have another video on the WordPress admin dashboard, what it is and how you can use it. And that's going to be coming very soon. But once you are on your WordPress admin dashboard, we want to click onto the plugins tab and then we're going to hit add new. From here, we are going to search for the plugin that you want. Just go up into the search bar there. Now, if you're not sure what plugin you need, you need to think of what functionality you want. What do you want your plugin to do? For example, as I said earlier, forms. You have two ways of going about this. You can simply type in forms and see what becomes available, or you can check some reliable sources for the best forms plugin. For example, we have lists. What are the best plugins for contact forms? And you can go through, decide which one's for you, and then search for that. Our top pick for best contact form plugin is WP Forms. So we're gonna search for that. I search WP Forms in the top corner. We're then gonna click install now, and we're gonna wait for that to install. It's very, very quick. And we're gonna click activate. And ta-da, your website just got a whole heap cooler. Or sticking with the original metaphor, let's say Gotham got a whole heap safer. So if you wanna add functionality to your site, we're talking SEO, forms, design, anything you can think of, we have a saying. You remember when Apple used to say, there's an app for that? Well, we like to say, there's a plugin for that. It's also worth mentioning that because of the way that WordPress.org is run, it is an open source platform, you can actually develop your own plugin. So if there's a gap in the market you see or you want to create something with a specific use, then you can generate your own plugin. Now, you do need some kind of experience to be able to do this, but there are some plugins that will help you build a plugin in a plugin. So if you want to give it a go, you can definitely do that. But we recommend you have at least a little bit of experience if you're heading in that direction. Now, before you go plug in crazy, there are a couple of things that you need to know. Like I said earlier, it's important that you select the best plugin available. And like I say, our lists or other lists are going to be a really good way of doing that. 
but you also want to make sure that you have your back covered at all times. You don't want to install a plugin that's going to be a security risk to your site. Poorly coded plugins can actually act as a back end, a way for hackers to get into your website. A good way of making sure that you're downloading a good plugin is to check when it was last updated. If it was updated more, more recently by the developer, that means that they are taking care of that plugin. They're making sure that it is at the best possible level it can be. If that plugin hasn't been updated by the developer for a few years, it might be one to avoid because it might lead to some unfortunate consequences like a backdoor for hackers to get into your site. A really simple rule of thumb is get your plugins from reputable sources. Don't go downloading plugins from the Sinister Six. That's right, we've had Batman references the whole way through and I've gone with Spider-Man at the end. If you are in the market for some plugins, click here to find out about the best lead generation plugins or click here if you're an e-commerce store and you're looking for the best WooCommerce plugins. That's all from me here today. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've been James. Have a good one and I'll see you soon.